determinants what exactly a determinant of a matrix means first i will explain concept of vectors suppose a vector v1 power is 2 and 4 so v2 power is v6 and 1 okay. these are two vectors how to represent these vectors in a plane so these two vectors have two entries right this is two one entry this is four one entry here also it has one entry and second end so these vectors have two entries which means these vectors can be represented in a 2d plane this first entry is x x coordinate this two is x coordinate And this 4 is y coordinate. First entry is x coordinate. Here also, the first entry 6 is x coordinate. The second entry is y coordinate. How to represent in a plane? So, these vectors have two coordinates. We need a 2D plane. If these vectors have three entries, then we need a 3d plane so here we have two entries so we need a 2d plane this is a 2d plane x and y first vector is 2 and 4 so x coordinate is 2 and y coordinate is 4 this is the representation of v1 this is v1 bar next the second vector is 6 and 1. The first coordinate is 6, that is x coordinate is 6, and the second coordinate, y coordinate is 1. Compare here. Now, this is the vector v2. Right? This is a representation of the column vectors in a 2D plane. Because these two vectors have two entries, we need a 2D plane. Now I will represent the vectors in a 3D plane. Suppose a vector v1 as 2, 1, 0, v2 and v3 and 0, 4. Now I will represent these three vectors. Because these vectors have three entries. I will I need a three-dimensional plane. Right? So I will draw the three-dimensional plane. The first vector v1 is 210. The x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is 1, z coordinate is 0. Represent this. This is 2. This is 1. And the z coordinate is 0. So this vector is lying on a xy plane the z coordinate is 0 so this is v1 next v2 0 2 3 the x coordinate is 0 the y coordinate is 2 s2 and z coordinate is 3 and the x coordinate is 0 which means it lie on yz plane yes this is v2 part now the v3 104 it lies in xz plane because the y coordinate is 0 this is the third vector This is V3 part. This is the representation of vectors in a 3D plane, right? Because these vectors have three entries, we need a 3D plane. If I have a vector 2 comma 4 here, if I have two vectors like 2 4 and 6 2, right? Then I will represent them 
as a matrix um, a matrix is 2 4 and 6 2. these two vectors then i will determine this determinant okay you will get some value now i will find this area formed by these two vectors these are the two vectors 2 4 and 6 2 the area formed by these two vectors in a 2d plane is this this is the area the shaded the pink region we calculate that area and if we calculate this determinant we will get same values so that a determinant you may get negative so we calculate that magnitude of the determinant you will get area of the these two vectors we calculate the determinant the magnitude of the determinant you will get the area formed by these two vectors in a 2d plane right so that i will explain suppose i will take p1 power is 2 and 0 1 and 4 now i'll represent them in a 2d plane because it has two entries i will represent them in a 2d plane first vector is 2 0 x length is 2 and y length is 0 so this is vector v1 next v2 x length is 1 y length is 4 so this is the x length 1 y length is 4 yes this is v2 i will find out the area formed by these two these are the two vectors i will find out the area formed by these two vectors in this 2d plane this is the area this is a parallelogram right parallelogram area of parallelogram is base into height here the base is 2 we need height right how to find out that height this is the height right what is this height same this is the same height this is height h that is 4 height is 4 right area equal to base is 2 height is 4 you will get 8 right now what i do is i will take these two vectors as a column of some vector a this 2 0 1 4 right i am taking these two vectors as columns of this a now i will find out this determinant find out here the determinant what do you get 8 minus 0 the determinant of a matrix a in a 2d plane is the area formed by these two vectors in 2d plane that is these two vectors forms a parallelogram in a 2d plane so if we calculate that area of the parallelogram that is exactly equal to determinant of a in fact the determinant the magnitude of the determinant of a sometimes you may get the magnitude as negative so if we calculate its magnitude it, it it is the area of the parallelogram which is formed by these two vectors in a 2d plane that's it now i'll explain 3d vectors v1 is 2 0 0 i'm deliberately taking this uh, y and z coordinates 0 because it will be very difficult to draw a three-dimensional figure uh, three-dimensional figure in a 2d plane right my tab is a 2d plane i cannot draw a, a complicated three-dimensional plane in a 2d plane that is why i'm deliberately taking 200 and v2 as a 0 and some 4 0 right and v3 is 0 0 and 6 the same these are three vectors i want to represent these three vectors in a 3d plane because these vectors have three entries i will represent them in a 3d plane x y z 2 0 0 x coordinate is 2 y coordinate is 0 0 0 
This is the vector v1. Second vector 0, 4, 0. x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 4. Somewhere here. So this is the second vector v2. The third vector is 0, 0, 6 on z-axis. It is 6. This is the third vector v3. Three vectors form volume in a 3D plane. Right? Two vectors form area in a 2D plane. Three vectors form volume in a 3D plane. Here we got a cuboid. Right? If I join all these points, I will get a cuboid. Now calculate the volume of this cuboid. Now calculate the volume here itself. So volume of a cuboid is L B H right length, width and height. Here so this length is four and this height is six and this breadth is 4 to 6 you will get 48 volume is 48 now what i do i have three vectors i will represent a matrix a matrix a and i will take these three vectors as columns of this matrix 2 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 6 2 0 0 0 4 0 0 0 6 this is a matrix right find out its determinant so get magnitude of determinant determinant of a is 2 into 6 4 24 minus 0 that's it 48 you calculate magnitude 48 the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix this is a 3 by 3 matrix is volume of a cuboid right here if i take columns of the matrix as vectors this column vectors and i will represent them in a 3d plane then i will get a cuboid in a 3d plane if i calculate the volume of that cuboid i will get the determinant of a matrix A. Both are equal. Right? That's it.